has been faithful. All That's right. the only right reason now. we're here today. All right. Right. Because God is a faithful God. Yes, and he is a good God. I do honor God as the head of my life. Yes. Mother Teresa on the phone. Minister Ray, all of the saints. Happy Mother's Day to yes. everybody. Likewise. Mother's Day 2023. Well, Let's go to Ephesians, the sixth chapter. All Ephesians, right. the sixth chapter, verses one through four. You know, Mother's Day is not a, 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 a cheerful day for everyone. Right. Because no. some children have lost their mother yeah. and they're reminiscing about their mother. Yeah. Some mothers have lost yeah. their children. Yeah. And so we just have to point people to Jesus. All right. Yeah. Somebody who's able to yes. lift you up yes. and to give you joy unspeakable yes. and full of glory yes. in yes. spite of the circumstances. Yes. God is still a good God. Yes. And we've got something yes. to thank God for no matter what yes. is going on. Yes. Ephesians 6 1 says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord. For this is right. Children that still have a living mother, honor your mother. Right. Cherish your mother. Because I tell you, once they're gone, you will miss them. Right. Uh -huh. right. Honor thy father and mother, yeah. which is the first commandment we're promised. Yeah. The Ten Commandments in Exodus 20. It said that it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. And ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, mm -hmm. but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. And nurture is to care for and encourage the growth and development of another. We don't want to discourage our children. Right. We want to encourage them yeah, yeah, yeah. in the way of the Lord and give them wise counsel. Mm -hmm. God is a good God. Oh, yeah. Proverbs 30, verse 11. Sister Pamela, I'm glad you were still here in town. God is good. You look like your mother walking around back there from a distance. God, I miss all of our dear mothers. Oh, yeah. I miss my natural godly mother. I miss the church mothers that have gone on to be with the Lord. We thank God we still yet have Mother Teresa in the land of the living. God is a good God. Yeah, you good to see you. God is a good God. Yes. Proverbs 30, 11 says, this is a generation. This is saying here that curseth their father and does not bless their mother. You don't want to be in that no, no. predicament. No. You want to bless your mother yeah. while she's yet in the land of the living. Oh, yeah. You know, it's something about a mother's prayer. Mm. My mother's prayer was that she would live to see all of her children grow up. And I'm the youngest of 12. God answered that prayer. A mother's Amen. prayer. Amen. We have to pray for our children. Don't give up. I don't care what they are going through. Do not give up on your children. As long as there is life, there is hope that they can do better. Okay? Proverbs 15, 20 says, A wise son maketh a glad father, but a foolish man despises his mother. You don't want to be counted among the foolish despising your mother. Oh, no. Love your mother. That's Cherish right. your mother. Oh, yeah. Some parents, mothers, weren't the mothers they should have been. You right. can't go back and change that. No. All you can do is move forward from no. this point on and be the best mother you can be. Yeah. And get rid of that guilty conscience. Right. That's one thing the blood of Jesus handled for us. Not only to forgive us of our sins, but it also cleanses our conscience. 
So you don't have to walk around with that guilty conscience about what you didn't do. All of we, all of us that have parented children or helped to bring up children, we haven't always got it right every time. That's true. Okay, but just do the best you can. You can't go back and undo the past. But there is hope in the future. Oh, yeah. Proverbs 31, and I'm not going to read all of that about the virtuous woman. Right. I'm just going to read verses 25 through 31. Right. It says, Strength and honor are her clothing and she shall rejoice in time to come. Right. She openeth her mouth with wisdom, and in her tongue is the law of kindness. She looketh well to the ways of her household, and eateth not the bread of idleness. Her children arise up and call her blessed. Her husband also, and he praises her. You know, teenagers can be so rebellious. And even, yeah, some in their early 20s and so forth, so on or whatever. But I hold on to the fact that one day, one day. as I keep walking with the Lord, God bless you, Jordan, good to see you. They will rise up and call us blessed. Hallelujah. Yes, it says, many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excellest them all. Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. Be. That's where, uh, that's a woman with some wisdom. Yeah. To the uh, Wisdom yeah. enough to fear the Lord. Yeah, yeah. Give her of the fruit of her hands and let her own works praise her oh, in you. the gates. Bless him, bless him. God is a good God. Oh. The word of God covers every situation. Yeah. I don't care what predicament you find yourself in. The word of God covers that. Yeah. Uh, we just have to dig it out. Psalm 113.9 says he maketh the barren woman, the woman that couldn't bear children, to yeah. keep house and to be a joyful mother of children. Yeah. Praise ye the Lord. Mm -hmm. So however your mothering came about, you right. can be a joyful mother yeah. and be thankful to God. Yeah. I know when uh, uh, First Samuel, I held on to that while I was waiting for Jordan. I held on to that about how Hannah asked for a man child. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. And the God and God gave her that man child. Yeah. And that's what I was holding on to and God is a faithful God. I thank God for Jordan. All I right. do. Um, I heard something yesterday that was a little kind of sad and ultimate not heard. I read it. A little sad to me. They were talking about having a birth mother's day. And it's a group they have at the Saturday before Mother's Day. I don't agree with that. Even if, yeah, those that have given their children up for adoption, they should still celebrate Mother's Day. Yeah, right. They are still mothers. Yeah. You know, things happen for a reason. Jordan, yeah. don't leave. Stay with the son. Okay. Sometimes it's for the betterment of the child or it's because the situation that mother was in. But she's still a mother. Oh, and she right. should still celebrate Mother's, mother's Day. day. Yeah. Yeah. I don't agree with that. Right. Okay, it might be good for their business, but that's one I don't <laughs> agree with. Another thing in Psalm 68, verses 5 and 6, says God is a father of the fatherless. And a judge of the widows is God in his holy habitation. Mm -hmm. God said it, the solitary, the lonely in families. He bringeth out those which are bound with chains, but the rebellious dwell in a dry land. I saw in the news where they were looking at some of the uh, children from Ukraine that the parents had sent by themselves to a different country mm -hmm. to spare their lives. That's, right. That's a mother's love. That is. Mm -hmm. That she would give up those children mm -hmm. just so they could live. Mm -hmm. right. Let's go to 1 Kings 3. I'm not going to read all of it. 1 Kings 3. 
It's something about a mother's love. I think it was Pastor China who used to say a mother's love is next to God's love. Yeah, First Kings 3. And we know that God blessed Solomon with wisdom. He was the wisest man that ever lived. Mm -hmm. Because he didn't ask God for He asked God to show him how to go in and out among the people. Yes. So God told him, because he didn't ask for riches, he didn't ask for this and that, he granted him the wisdom, plus he added the riches to it. Mm -hmm. So a situation happened where these two women, yes. Yes. God bless you, Trin, been praying for you, God is good, where these two women mm -hmm. had babies. Right. One of the women, slept, accidentally slept on her baby and killed it. While the other lady was asleep, she switched children, okay, and said that the dead baby was the other lady's baby. Well, Solomon in his wisdom said, okay, let's cut the baby in half. And now this selfish one, who was the liar that said the dead baby was the other lady. She was all for it, cut it in half. Right. But the mother right. of that living baby right. said, no, let her have it. Her have it. That's, That's a mother's true. love. Yeah. That's a mother mother's love. Mm -hmm. But Solomon had wisdom enough to discern mm -hmm. and to put that mother to the test. Yeah. But a real mother, I don't care how you ended up being a mother, where it's foster mother, adopted mother, birth mother, you will stick with your child. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. You yes. will. Sometimes when addiction control, then the mothers aren't able to be the kind of mothers they need to be. But if they give their hearts to the Lord, yeah. And God turns them around, it makes all the difference. Mm -hmm. You can't go back and fix what you did, but there's hope that yeah. your children will come to you one day all and right, bless God. you right. and thank God for you. Yeah. That's why we have to have hope. I don't care what your situation yeah. is. Don't let that devil lie to you and say there's no hope. Right. Because God can work on your heart. He can work on the children's heart and bring y'all back together again somewhere down the road. God is able. He's able. So I'm telling you today, don't give up hope. You know, I love the Lord because he first loved me. And he is the lover of my soul. He is the lifter of my head. Hallelujah to his name. Thank God for Jesus. Let's go to St. John 19. You know, sometimes Jesus would say to his mother, Mary, he would call her woman. He wasn't being disrespectful. I read that back in that day, it was like saying, ma'am. Okay? Because Jesus did no sin. Neither was any guile or deceit found in his mouth. So there's no way he disrespected his mother. No way. Okay, John 19, 25 says, Now there stood by the cross of Jesus, his mother, and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Cleophas and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus therefore saw his mother and the disciple standing by whom he loved, and that disciple was the apostle John, he saith unto his mother, Woman, behold thy son. Then saith he to the disciple, Behold thy mother. And from that hour, that disciple took her unto his own home. You know, Jesus wasn't going to leave his mother with just any and everybody. No, 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 no. He felt confident to leave his mother with John because John was present. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. uh huh. He wouldn't just tell anyone disciple take her. Uh huh. Uh huh. But because the beloved John was present, mm -hmm. he entrusted his mother's care to uh, the apostle John. Yes, he did. Uh huh. There's some that are uh, uh, up in here. 
You didn't birth the child, but you sure enough helped nurture them. All right. Amen. Amen. You Amen. helped Amen. to raise Amen. them. Amen. You Amen. poured into Amen. them. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank God. God is not unrighteous to forget your work and your labor of love. Don't let the devil have you feeling bad because you didn't birth a child or a child that lives. Some of us had children in infancy or whatever. Right. A Mother's Day was kind of difficult for Missionary Johnson because she never gave birth to a child, but God knows she raised some. He did. Oh, yes, she did. He did. Step children and their siblings and others. Yes. But it was difficult for her. You know, because she never gave birth to a child and she wanted a child so badly. Yeah. But I thank God he gave her the opportunity to mother children. God is a good God. And her son Billy still remembers her. He was saying how many years she'd been gone, you know, a couple of years. He dearly loves his mama Georgia. Even though he loves and respects his birth mother, he still remembers what Georgia poured into him as well. So God is a good God. And like I said, your labor's not in vain. Let's go to Matthew 10. I'll be done shortly. Matthew 10, 37. But sometimes we, not sometimes, all the time, we just need to be thankful for the day that we have. Amen. And like the song says, this is the day which the Lord has made. Yeah. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Yeah. Hallelujah Thank to his you. name. Matthew 10. Verse 37. We have to put things in perspective. Matthew 10, 37 says, He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. We've got to put the Lord first. Yeah. He said in Revelation 2, I have someone against you because you right. left your first love. We can't put nobody ahead of Jesus. Oh, no. And nobody ahead of God because it is in God that we live, we move, and we have our being. Yeah. Yeah. And, and he that taketh not his cross and followeth after me is not worthy of me. He that findeth his life shall lose it, and he that loses his life for my sake shall find it. You know, it's not easy raising children. It is not. It wasn't back in the day with Jordan. I thank God for him. But nowadays, parents are facing some stuff that we didn't have to face way back when. It is difficult raising children, and we need God's wisdom in order to do it. Yeah. Our children got so much pulling after them. Yeah. You know, and things yeah. that we didn't have. Right. You know, these children nowadays in schools, the things they're facing, having to go through drills on active shooters and just being brought up in a culture of fear. But we've got to be able or try to bring these children into the house of God. And let them know the only safety is in Jesus. I don't care how many security guards you have. I don't care how many cameras you have. Been through. Been through heartache. Yeah. Been through sickness, yeah. been through pain, yeah. been through death. But yeah. thanks be to God, after all yeah. the things yeah. I've been through, yeah. I still have joy. Yeah. I still have joy. Yeah. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Yeah. Sometimes we want to wait until the situation changes. Yeah. But my mind goes to the yeah. song that says, don't wait. To the battle is over. Shout now, because you know in the end you're going to win. Hallelujah to his name. For the rest of my life, I plan on praising the Lord. For the rest of my life, I'll serve him. Hallelujah. I don't have time to give the devil any space in my life. Nowhere. Nowhere. The word says, give no place to none. Submit to God. 
Resist that devil and he'll he'll flee from you. Don't let the devil steal your joy. Mm-hmm. He is a thief. Amen. St. John 10, 10 says, The thief cometh not but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. He destroys families. Uh-huh. But Jesus said, I've come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Saints of God, just learn how to praise the Lord. Amen. When praises go up, the saying says, and it's true, blessings will come down. Thank you, Jesus. You don't have time for a pity party. All right. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Don't have time. St. Mark 10, 28 through 30. Oh, bless him, bless him. Bless okay, him. Uh, it says, Then Peter began to say unto him, Lo, we have left all, and have followed thee. Mm-hmm. And Jesus answered and said, Verily I say unto you, There is no man that have left house, or brethren, or sisters, or fathers, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my sake and the gospel. All right. mm-hmm. But he shall receive an hundredfold now in this time, right. houses, and brethren, and sisters, mm-hmm. and mothers, and children, and lands with persecutions, right. and in the world to come everlasting. As people of God, we are the family of God. Okay, and if you don't have a living birth mother or, or whatever, you can have a church mother. Yeah. That can be a mother too. Yeah. Don't have any siblings, you've got sisters and brothers in the house of God. Mm-hmm. I'm going to end with Matthew 12. But enjoy your day today. Don't yeah. let that devil steal your joy. Mm-hmm. Matthew 12. 12, well, right? Verses 46 through 50. I still have joy. On this Mother's Day, I still have joy. After bringing that message last week, you know the devil tried me, don't you? That's his job. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh But I'm holding on to my faith. I'm holding on to my joy. Can't have it. I'm not going to let you. You can only take it if I let it. That's it. And I'm not to going to let him have my joy. No, no, no. Amen. The caption in my Bible here says, The family of Jesus. Yes, yes. While in verse 46, while he yet talked to the people, behold, his mother and his brethren stood without, desiring to speak with him. Mm-hmm. Then one said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without desiring to speak with thee. But he answered and said unto him that told him, Who is my mother? Who is it? And who are my brethren? And he stretched forth his hand toward his disciples. Isn't it a blessing to be a disciple of Christ? A learner? I just, as the son say, I just want to be one of his disciples. And he said, Behold my mother and my brethren. For whosoever shall do the will of my Father, which is in heaven, the same is my brother and sister and mother. We have anybody today you want to join the family? Oh, yeah. Family of Jesus. Come on in this house. He loves you. He died for you. Uh We are joint heirs with Jesus Christ. Thank God for Jesus. Mothers, enjoy your mother's day. And hang in there with your children. Might be hard sometimes. Give your life to Jesus. He can help you bear that burden. Oh, yes, he will. I don't care what you're going through. He is able to see you through. As the song says, just ask the Savior to help you. Uh, Sometimes we've got to be like that woman in the Bible with that unjust judge. He didn't fear man. He didn't regard man. And he didn't fear God. But that widow kept coming. She kept coming, coming until he ended up avenging her. So we got to pray for our children, whether they're in college, 
whether they're in jail, whatever situation they're in, they need prayer. So keep praying for your children and keep loving your children. Love you all, and again, happy Mother's Day. We'll be in Minister Morales hand and Jordan again. So good to see mothers. Yeah. 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 Stay the course. All right. Yeah. Stay the course. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you got to have Jesus to help you stay the course. Because yeah. yeah. he is the one Thank you. that will be there for you when you can't call nobody else. Well, uh, Just call Jesus. Yeah. He'll show up. He'll yeah. tell you. Yeah. Yeah. listen to him. Yeah. He sure will be right there. Right yes, will. It's, it's, it's not, it's, it's not a ice cream and cake journey. But when you got Jesus in your life, he makes the difference in how you bring up your children. How you bring them up in the fear of the Lord. Happy Mother's Day again to all of you. We love you. And we have a conference call number. And the number is 667-770-1373. SX code is 274-487 pound. We're there Tuesdays at 1 o'clock. Wednesdays at 6 o'clock. Friday night at 6 o'clock, except the fourth Friday. That's a special in-person prayer service here at the church, 1916 Old Avenue. So if you're not busy at any of those times, Call the number because there's something going on on that line. Amen. And it'll help you Amen. if you ask the Savior to help you. Amen. God bless you. Happy Mother's Day. God bless you.